Hello students, welcome to this video tutorial on hashtag number of the day. So in this video tutorial, we're going to focus on this section here. How many ways can you make this number using operations? So remember, whenever you hear the word operations, you're talking about addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, and perhaps brackets, and perhaps exponents. All right, so let's break this section down. Okay, so you're given 12 options. So I want you to come up with 12 different ways that you can make this number. So our number of the day is 12. All right, so the simplest way is if we use a very simple addition statement. So how about something like 11 plus 1? Okay, so that's very simple. So you can fill this entire list with addition questions, but that doesn't show a lot of your understanding. So I don't want you to only focus on addition. So earlier in, in uh, the sheet, we talked about factors. So if you remember one of the factor pairs, one of the factor pairs was 3 times 4. 3 times 4 equals 12. 11 plus 1 equals 12. Okay? So how about another multiplication? What if we do something like 1 times 12 okay so i've taken care of two multiplication uh, statements i've got an addition statement what about a division statement so how about 24 divided by 2 24 divided by 2 equals 12 okay all right can you think of any others what if we have a subtraction question so what if we have something like 20 subtract 8 so there's a subtraction question okay what if I come up with another subtraction question what if I have something like 15 minus 3 okay so for my first six I wanted to take very simple statements using operations so how about for the next six I get a little more creative and a little more imaginative and I use a little bit more math so for number seven, I want three different numbers here. So what if I do something like two times two? So we know that two times two equals four. And then what could I do to this to make it 12? Well, what if I multiplied that by three? I got two times two, which is four, four times three, which is 12. That works perfectly, okay? All right, so now I'm gonna throw a really good wrinkle in. How about exponents? So what if I go 2 to the power of 2? Now I want to remind you that 2 to the exponent 2 means 2 times 2. Okay? So 2 to the power of 2 gives me 4. So I'm at 4 and I need to get to 12. So what if I add 8? Okay? So 2 times 2 is 4 plus 8. So I got to use an exponent here. Okay, so now let's say I want to use multiplication and then subtraction. So again, this is just all manipulating numbers in my head or with a calculator. So what if I start with something like 15 to 5 times 3, which is 15, that's greater than 12. So because the number is greater than 12, I have to subtract something, don't I? So what if I subtract Three. I have to do the multiplication first because it comes first in the rules of BEMZA. So 5 times 3 is 15 minus 3 is 12. Okay. All right, how about let's use some brackets. Brackets. So what if I do something like 1 plus 1 plus 1? So the rules of BEMSA state that I have to do brackets first. So whatever comes outside the bracket, I have to do this first. So let's do this in our head. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. So what can I do to 3 to make it 12? Well, what if I multiplied it by 4? Okay, I could use multiplication here. I could have used addition, whatever you like. So I'm going to use this format. I'm going to use brackets again here. Okay, and I'm going to go 2 times 2 times 2 in the bracket. So let's do the bracket first. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. So I'm at 8. What do I need to do to 8 to make it 12? Well, I can add 4. Okay? All right, so now I'm going to get out my calculator. 
For my last one, I really want to impress. And I'm going to start with the number 100. Okay, well, 100 is way beyond the number 12. So I definitely want to use division to knock it down. So what if I take 100 and I divide it by 2? So this is where mental math is really important because then I can have that number in my head. 100 divided by 2, even though 100 is a big number, dividing it by 2 shouldn't be too challenging. 100 divided by 2 is 50. So now using my calculator, what would I need to do to 50 to bring it down to 12? Well, I think we can subtract 38. So again, this question allows you a lot of variety, a lot of creativity to come up with the right answers, as long as you are using and following the rules of BEMSA. You have to be careful, okay? All right, so this concludes this video tutorial on hashtag number of the day. Thanks for watching. Bye.